Hello, my soul family, and welcome to your daily morning spiritual guidance for this Wednesday, March 27th, 2024. My name is Christy Ramirez. I'm your soul coach, spiritual influencer, and motivational speaker. And today is midweek. I feel that today is a great day to really do something unique to kind of bring life into your into your week but also your life and be spontaneous don't be afraid to book that trip don't be afraid to go somewhere you've never been don't be afraid of doing something that you usually don't do on a Wednesday and I think that that's gonna just bring a little bit more excitement into our life which a lot of us are missing and it's really gonna probably even solve other problems that you're having in life so if you're feeling like low energy or you're feeling like something's missing it might just be that you need a little bit more fun so have fun and book it in your schedule to have fun i think that that's a key right okay so we got two messages i only choose high vibrational relationships that uplift my spirit and nourish my well-being and i don't think that this is only relationships like friendships or partnerships romantically but it's also even people you follow on social media who do you resonate with who makes you feel better after you've looked them up and that's how you know who's high vibrational and who's not because they can seem high vibrational outwardly but maybe in spirit they're not and we need to trust our intuition with this so it's so important to be very particular with who you follow and especially if you look up to that person or celebrity or leader of some kind in power make sure that they are in alignment with god and then that's how you know that that's someone meant to be in your circle i am talented and hence i am valuable to this earth i am chosen for my soul mission for a purpose yeah, focus on your own talents and know that you are here for a valuable reason. God wouldn't have placed you and put you under certain training if you were not needed. So trust in this and just like that, a beautiful eagle flies over. So yeah, this is about leadership. Trust in your abilities and don't feel the need to always look up to other leaders because eventually you do outgrow other leaders and that's when the student becomes the teacher and you need to know when it's time to take that next step. I know a lot of us deal with that imposter syndrome and think we're never ready to be teachers and you always stay a student. You know, I was once like that and I still sometimes can be like that, but then I remind myself how far I've come and how much training I've had in my life that it would just be silly for me to fall back into that imposter syndrome, right? And so if any of you are dealing with this, know that God has chosen you for a reason you have what it takes, you have all the knowledge you need, and you will make it. You have a divine purpose. Now, our angel wing for today. And not only the training that you've received, but the experiences that you've dealt with, karmically challenges that you've had in life, hard lessons, traumas, all of that are very powerful ways of growing up. And if you've already had a lot of that in your life, then you can be sure that you're ready for adulthood and you're ready to be that teacher. Dear Archangel Uriel, Archangel of Wisdom, thank you for shining the light of truth amidst the darkness and fog of confusion. So exactly what I started our conversation, I think that this particular guidance is for again social media who you follow in the mainstream because again also you know a lot of popular things could even be music and you don't realize how subliminal music can be and maybe you you love that music but maybe the person playing that music is not all high vibes and you know they can be transmitting low vibrational energies into your soul and so you need to really be careful who and what you're listening to and I think I know that that sounds extreme but be more careful with people, if anything, in your circle and your interactions. And just be an observer. I think that the better we get at observing, the wiser we get with the knowledge that we build up and the better we're able to intuitively decipher 
what's what and who's who. So, and of course our archangels will help us clear up any fog of confusion. Thank you for helping me to see with clarity through the veils of illusion. And thank you for illuminating me with your one-of-a-kind wisdom. Love your divine child. So yeah, there's a lot of wisdom and revelations coming in, insights that we're needing to really clarify this week. So it's important to spend a lot of time with yourself in spirit, in silence, so that you can get clarity. Okay, our spiritual guidance for today. Yeah, the gratitude mantra always comes up. Work with the elementals. Spend time in nature. I think that just breathing the fresh air is actually really nice and breezy. You know what I did? I actually, um, you know, I was falling asleep right before. And it's so funny because I took my pictures and I was still tired from this morning. I barely got any sleep last night because I was working and studying. But I had to make it today because I knew that if I weren't to make it today, then things will get behind. I probably will not show up till like later tomorrow, which would be too late on Monday. And so I really wanted to be on time and I had time today and I want to make it a part of my new schedule again to do these on Sunday. And but I was just so tired and I had already done my hair. I had already prepared, but all the preparing got me tired even more. So I was just like, I took a little five minute nap, like just not like I just didn't plan it, but I just fell asleep. But I woke myself up and what I did before the pictures actually, you know, I usually have my pictures for the YouTube. I went out in nature to get some fresh air and that revived me. That just gave me excitement to be on here in camera and to share our guidance because I wanted to know the guidance as well. And as you all well know, the guidance that I usually receive is like spontaneous right here, right now. And sometimes getting in touch with nature, which is of God, is the best way to do that because God is in nature. God is the wind, God is the trees. He created all things. And if we spend time in his world, in nature, then we're gonna get in touch with God like that. So I think that that's so beautiful. And I also did walk in my garden today as well with my dog, he, right before this as well. So it was a great, great excuse for me to get out of nature and ground myself a bit and, and just come back in a new vibration. So I'll see you all for Thursday. Have an amazing day. Namaste.